Hey guys, this is Anime Green on the Green Clan Studios for another full anime series review. Now here at the Green Clan, we don't want to just talk about or review popular series. Like last week was Yu Yu Hakusho, which is pretty popular, but today we'll be doing an underrated or lesser known series, in my personal opinion, called Gare Zero. Now this anime is basically a prequel to the events that occur within the manga, which is called Gare. It is a 2008 uh, supernatural action drama type of anime and i was surprised i really enjoyed it especially the first two episodes but i'll explain everything within today's review so if anything sounds interesting please check this out guys it's on available on netflix and it's only 12 episodes so let's get started with today's review of god ray zero so the basic plot of god ray zero is that there is a organization of exorcists that basically disposes of evil demons and ghosts and monsters of course like any exorcist type of anime However, this division is pretty much composed of some of the coolest characters ever. And the first two episodes, which I really want to talk about, is what made this series for me. The first two episodes, they introduce this cast that is just complete bosses. They're just awesome. The coolest character designs. They all have these cool abilities. They're just destroying monsters. The first episode, the animation is amazing. The music is spectacular. Like, I really thought this was like the best opening starting to an anime I've ever seen. And then they switch the characters to these two girls, which is Kagura and Yomi. And that's where this story pretty much switches around episode 2 or 3. So basically after 3 or 4 episodes, Kagura and Yomi become the main cast of characters. Now some of the fans were a little upset because the first cast of characters that we saw were so awesome. They were like destroying demons and doing all this awesome cool stuff. And then it switches over to Kagura and Yomi. And because something traumatic happens to him, I can't tell you what happens. But just watch the end of episode 1, you'll be like, oh my gosh, a big like wow. Anyway, Kagura is a younger woman who is supposed to be... The heir to the entire family clan. She's also pretty talented as a swordswoman. And uh, she's supposed to be gain control of the white beast that we see that you saw earlier in today's review. Then there's Yomi, who's known as the most powerful exorcist within the entire organization. It's her job to train Kagura to become just like her. Now, uh, the whole anime is basically 50% of the time of them developing and training. And, um, you know, it's a great character development type of anime. That's why it's called, uh, like, slightly drama. But um, that's pretty much half the anime. The other half the anime. Um, without the daily life stuff is really just them fighting demons like every episode they fight a demon or monster or whatever so it's always entertainment I really did enjoy that now the final thing is that they are kind of close but it's no Yuri type of stuff not like uh, there's not really any fan service within this anime there's a little bit but not really anything too noticeable um, but overall guys this is an awesome anime I actually really enjoyed it even though it's really short and only 12 episodes um, let's move on to the pros and cons Excuse me, okay, on to the pros and cons. Now, for the cons, there's really only two major cons I have with the series, other than the fact that it's so short. The main con that I had was the, the main transition from the first cast of characters to Kagura and Yomi. It just felt a little weird how they just instantly switched. The second con I have with the series is the ending, the final fight between Kagura and Yomi. It was somewhat lackluster. I wanted it to be a little bit more bigger and grand since they're so overpowered within this anime. So that's the only main two cons I have with the series. Now with the pros, the animation is freaking astounding. Like the animation is just amazing, mind-blowing. Like you see some of these pictures and this is just nothing close to how awesome the anime itself is so the animation is a high plus the music is amazing especially the opening the opening is in my favorites the opening is just amazing um and final pro is like the development they do an excellent job developing Kagura and Yomi and making me feel for the characters so I think they did an excellent job with the develop development of the characters so overall I do find it awesome as for side characters there's none that are really relevant for me to talk about in a review but I'm pretty sure you'll like a few of the side characters if you watch the anime for yourself because there are some funny side characters, but overall, guys, a great watch, and that's my pros and cons for this anime. So for an awesome, epic, supernatural drama action series, this was actually pretty entertaining, and I really did enjoy pretty much every episode of this anime. So guys, if you have not seen it, please check it out. It's only 12 episodes, so it's nothing too, you know, bearing, overbearing, should I say. So check it out on your free time over this winter break. It's available on Netflix, or if you really like it and you've seen it before, 
pick it up and support the anime anime industry on Amazon. I think it's about 30 bucks for the box set, which I want to get so bad. But anyway, God Ray Zero is an awesome anime, guys. It has some pretty cool characters, but mainly the main two characters are the only relevant ones that I care about, though. Um, and it has amazing fight scenes. I forgot to mention that. The fight scenes are amazing. And it's an, a good, refreshing, exorcist type of anime you should check out on your free time. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. If you've seen it, let me know your thoughts. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Thumbs up for another full anime series review. I am Anime Green, the leader of the Green Clan Studios, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.